Hey guys, I'm Trent for Trent Sense, and this video is a quick presentation to let you guys know what I think of the Nexus One car dock. You may notice that my MacBook is not on the laptop stand like it usually is. I actually packed up my laptop to go to Panera for some video editing on iMovie. So uh, more than likely, I will be editing this particular episode for all of you guys at Panera. The other day, I took my Panasonic ZS3 digital camera to shoot HD quality footage for the installation of the Nexus One car dock in my Honda CRV. And I also took the time out to compare the audio quality between the built-in Bluetooth speaker as well as the speaker system of my Honda. So sit back, relax, Take a look at the footage from inside of my car, and after that, stay tuned for my final overall opinion of the Nexus One car dock. You have my Nexus One along with the pouch and the car dock itself sitting here waiting to be unboxed. All right, so first things first, I'm going to take the dock and set it to the side and get to the power cord that I'm going to install into this port here where my Nokia micro USB charger is currently plugged in. But we're going to take that out. So I'm going to plug it in. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and use this time to plug in the power cord to the back of the suction cup area. We're going to match up the plug here. All right, we now have the dock connected to the power cord on my Honda CRV. Um, I have this position to work with, and then the alternate position is to, of course, take the dock and stick it to the windshield like so. Okay, in order for me to attach this suction cup to the windshield, I have to, of course, follow the directions to press it up against the windshield and turn it clockwise to lock it. Now, just as a quick guide, you will see that there is a tab here on the suction cup itself. And I believe that's the tab that indicates the part that needs to be facing the top before you attach it to the windshield. So now that I have the suction cup attached, I am now going to turn the disc clockwise to lock it in place. I'm turning. All right, there was a click right there just now to tell me that the suction cup is locked in place. Okay, you can see that I now have the car dock secured up against the windshield, and it looks pretty nifty. I am now going to turn on my CRV, and you can now see that the indicator light has come on for the power cord. All I'm going to do now is take my Nexus One and place it into the dock like so, and we're going to see the magic happen. Okay, as soon as you have your Nexus One secured inside of the car dock, you will see that there is going to be a pop-up asking you what you would like to use the dock audio for, whether you want to use it for a speakerphone or music and media or both. Now, in this instance, I'm going to uh, want to test the Bluetooth speakers to see how loud they are. So I'm going to leave both of these checked for right now. And I'm going to uncheck Remember Settings because there's a chance that I may not want to use the dock for audio at all and simply just for charging. So I'm going to hit OK. And the first thing you will see is that the car home screen immediately pops up on the Nexus. Yeah. All right, the tactile controls on the side do work very well.
available. For more details, please go to apple.com forward slash retail. Please select from the following four options. For store hours and directions, press 1. To be rerouted to our National Technical Support Service Apple Care, press 2. If you are a business customer, press 3. For all other questions, press 5. Thank you for calling the Apple Store in the card center. The magical revolutionary iPad now available. For more details, please go to apple.com forward slash retail. Please select from the following four options. For store hour options, press one to be rerouted for national. Honestly, I'm going to just use the dock for charging of the Nexus and um, continue to have the cassette adapter attached to the Nexus through the headphone port to have the audio come through my uh, stereo of the car. It's nice to have the built-in audio from the Bluetooth speakers, but I really do prefer to have my whole entire car stereo um, for my phone calls as well as any sort of music media that's going to be playing from the Nexus One. I do like having my cassette adapter connected directly to the Nexus through the headphone port. The only downside is that I do not have any access to the hardware controls on the side of the phone because it's inside the dock. But the alternative to that is to always refer to the volume level of of my car stereo itself. I think the car dock is a very good purchase because it's very sturdy. The phone doesn't go anywhere and you can basically put it in any orientation that you'd want on the fly as you're driving, which makes it very convenient. Now that you've seen the installation experience inside of my Honda CRV with the Nexus car dock, I will now let you know my final opinion. Get it, get it. If you happen to be a Nexus One owner, Go to the Google website, google.com slash phone, and get this car dock ASAP. You will not be sorry. Now, I would even go as far as to say that the Nexus One car dock is a bit more useful than that of the desktop dock. So if you want to get one or the other, I would go with the car dock. But if you happen to be able to afford both, go for it. There are two main reasons as to why I am so impressed with this car dock, especially when you take into account other third-party alternatives. The first and foremost reason is all about the custom build of the car dock. Every single curve caters to the overall shape of the Nexus One smartphone, and this not only makes for a very efficient user experience, but a much comfortable and impressive one as well. Now the second reason is all about build quality. Guys, I cannot stress to you enough how secure and solid the dock feels when the Nexus One is inside of it. So when I reach my finger to operate the touch screen or the power button, there is hardly any movement whatsoever, and especially in comparison to my previous dock. The amount of workmanship that went into creating that dock is amazing. Uh, there is so much solid construction when you go from the suction cup to the metal beam to the plastic dock itself that holds the phone. Now having the device audio come through my car stereo is made possible by a cassette adapter that is attached to the 3.5 millimeter headset jack on the Nexus One itself. There is a little bit of interference that comes into voice calls every now and then when using the cassette adapter. Now, even though the built-in Bluetooth speakers of the car dock don't really satisfy me in comparison to my car stereo, I can still say that they provide a good amount of volume in their own right. I simply have no other words to describe what I think of the Nexus One car dock. The only thing that I can basically tell you guys is that if you ever get your hands on a Nexus One phone, get the dock. It is a must have. You will not be sorry. And that's all there is to it. With all of that being said, I am Trent for Trent Sense. And all of you guys take care and stay safe.
95 North I-64 West Ramp to Washington Charlottesville.